What is going on guys? How is it going? This video is going to be me explaining what I think about ESHL not being on the next generation for NHL 15. I'm going to link a really good video in the description. It's going to be from a YouTuber named Target Audience. Target Audience is really, really good. He's uh, He knows a lot about hockey and he's actually a really good commentator. Probably one of the best out there and, I, and he really doesn't get the recognition that he does deserve. So go ahead and check that video in the description. He basically explains why it is good for the NHL franchise that ASHL is not on the, the next gen and I definitely agree with some of his points but but I got a couple comments asking me what I thought you know what are my thoughts about ASHL not being on the next gen honestly it, it kind of sucked it was um it was kind of a blow because I had some plans for um ASHL I was in a club just with a couple of my friends uh Zab Productions and Beamer's Hut Zach Facali on Twitter I was on I was in with a couple of my friends and we had a lot of fun people think oh well, you're a hut guy you don't know anything about ESHL may be true but when I'm not recording I'm usually recording hut and the rest of the time I'm honestly I'm playing ESHL with my friends so ESHL is a big part of NHL for me and it's gonna suck this not on the Xbox one but yes I will be getting it for both consoles I will be getting it for the Xbox 360 not on the release date I will be getting it on the Xbox one obviously for hut purposes and to own the game on the console I paid 300 plus dollars for I actually got a really good deal on that on my Xbox one but uh, and uh, I will be getting it for the Xbox 360 to play ESHL. Now, the question remains, what are they going to do for ES for ESHL for NHL 15? Is there going to be tweaks? Is there going to be the exact same game? I really don't know. Maybe when I go to Toronto on my trip to the EA Access thing, I can maybe get a little bit of inside information, but I, I can't promise you guys anything. I really have no clue what to expect. Am I upset about it? Yes, but... I, I do have hope, I, but please guys, go look at that video in the description. It basically explains why it is a good thing that it's not on on next gen. Uh, and I agree with all of the targets. Um, I agree with all of his opinions, and he's just. A, and he really opened my eyes, and he's the reason why I wanted to get your guys' opinion on what do you think. Because I know a lot of you guys are upset. Fire Rammer, I know, I know, I know. I've been getting tweets like crazy, and everyone has. I wanted, I didn't want to put this video out on the day that the news was released because everybody had it out, and I kind of wanted to wait for the dust to settle a little bit. But yes, I'm, I'm upset that um, that is not on the new console. But I will still be bringing you guys EASHL content. Maybe I'll have uh, two clubs. Maybe I'll have have a club in where I play with my friends and then maybe like a subscriber club where who is ever on at the time I'll just record some games and we'll talk and we'll have fun like that but but basically that's it yes I'm upset yes I'm getting it for both consoles um, I will not be getting it on the release date I'll probably wait about a month because usually there's always not really glitches but some stuff at that that the game has to work out and that they'll add in and whatnot so I'm not gonna get it on the release date for the 360 I will be getting it on the release date for the Xbox one though but I want to hear your guys opinion let me know what you what you think and don't say oh EA is lazy for not putting it in that's not it that's not it at all they really tried to put it in they really pushed to put it in but uh, the coding wasn't right apparently it was glitching uh, I really don't know the whole story but apparently it just would not work on the on the next gen so basically my quick thoughts are yes I'm on upset I think it's a good thing though because this will push for, for NHL 16 EASHL to be absolutely unreal but one thing I am concerned about for NHL 15 is gonna be the lack of creativity because I noticed with Hut, yeah you can be creative with your teams you can make an all Canadian team or what what have you you can make whatever team you want have whatever logo you want and yeah that's awesome uh, GM mode you can kind of be creative with it you can do whatever but ESHL was where the main creativity ca came from 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 everybody I seen some hilarious names like my name on there is Abe Lincoln I don't even know why uh, but you can be very very creative and I feel like NHL 15 is gonna lack creativity uh, with the lack of game modes no online shootouts uh, there's a couple other game modes that were taken out for the next gen for the next generation uh, but I feel like it's gonna be lack of creativity that's just my thoughts though uh, it could I could be totally opposite you know hut and GMO could be totally creative this year I don't know but that's another concern that I have for the next gen for NHL 15 but guys go check out target on audiences video in the description if you haven't subscribed already uh, he really doesn't get the recognition that he deserves I watch all of his videos 
videos. He's really good. Uh, he's actually one of the main NHL guys that I actually watch, believe it or not. And I, I feel like he doesn't get the recognition that he does deserve. But that's about it, guys. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the description down below. And if there's any questions you want me to ask to any of the EA developers when I go meet them in Toronto, whether it's regarding EASHL or whether it's regarding HUT or even this, the game itself, drop it down in the comments down below. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to think about this because it's kind of a sensitive topic. I know a lot of people were really, really upset. People were returning their Xbox Ones. They were pissed off and rightfully so because I feel like EA, in a way, I feel like they messed up. I'm just dragging this on way too much, but I feel like they messed up, but I feel like it's going to be a good thing. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I really don't really care because I am getting it for both consoles, but that's not the case for everybody. There's people who are going to have it for the Xbox One because they've already got rid of their 360s and then they're screwed and then vice versa. So let me know what you think, guys. Everything I talked about in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.